Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up piece filters for Hyperspeed Cube. Um, this is for Hyperspeed Cube 1.0. It'll hopefully be redone in Hyperspeed Cube 2.0. So, first thing, go to, up to your, um, Tools and Piece Filters. And uh, you can, as you're solving, you can just use this window, and already this will help you out. So, if you only want to show corners, you can just click on corners, and now you can only see the corners or just show the edges, ridges, or centers, and you can click everything to show everything. Um, if you want to show multiple piece types, um, well, you can click the X to hide a particular type and the eyeball to show a type. So if we hide everything and then show edges and ridges, there you go. Um, and often you'll want to keep centers shown as well. Uh, something to note, if you are hiding and showing certain things, I recommend always keeping centers visible, especially if you're using mouse buttons, because you can click on uh, the faces of a centerpiece to get all of the possible twists. So even if you have you know, half of the, the ridges shown or something, um, as long as you have centers visible, you can always click on a center. So uh, sometimes you might want to filter by color. So another thing you can do is uh, click the X on a particular color. Um, for example, I can hide all of the red pieces or all of the orange pieces. And now I have only the pieces that don't have red or orange on them. Um, now, what if I want to show uh, only the, the blue pieces? So there's another, this, this inverted X, which is hide all except. So this is like a show only blue pieces. Um, so now we are showing, because, and, and these, that's something to note, as you click these buttons, it's like affecting on top of the previous ones. So we hid all of the orange, hid all of the red, and showed only blue. So now we are showing blue that has no red or orange. But if I now uh, show yellow, then we get all of the, the previous thing, but we are adding on all of the yellow pieces. Um, this is a rather strange shape. I don't know if this is useful, but that's how that works. Um, notice that we still haven't touched these checkboxes. So now I'll get to the checkboxes. So the purpose of these checkboxes is, has nothing to do, it doesn't have an immediate effect. So if I hover over these, you'll see it highlights a color. Um, but if I just click a checkbox, that doesn't do anything. If I click two of these, say red and green, it affects these three options here. So pieces with all these colors, this shows pieces that have red and green. Any of these colors is red or green. And only of these colors is nothing but red and green. So again, this is uh, based on the checkboxes pieces that have red and green, red or green, just red and green, no other colors. So you could use this to say, um, let's say I'm doing three block and I want to show the pieces that have red and green but not uh, purple. Then I can select red and green and show only or pieces with all of these colors and then hide purple. So the checkboxes don't affect these buttons, they only affect these nine buttons here at the bottom. Um, so now I have, this is uh, one of your blocks in 3Block. Okay. Now this is pretty powerful, um, but you can't get everything using this. So for example, I can show cross pieces um, for 3Block on pink by showing just pink and just ridges, then showing all the centers. So this is a really good uh, good filter to use for, for cross. Let's set that up again. Only ridges, only pink, show all centers. This nicely highlights all of my cross pieces. And I could solve the cross here um, just to demonstrate that. There we go. Oops, there. So now I've solved the cross. Um, so now, but let's say I wanted to show this uh, white-red F2L pair. Well, the pieces that are involved in that, um, we, 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 can't, we can't do that filter um, without messing up our cross. So I'm gonna add a preset. So if I click Edit Presets down here, let's add a cross filter. So now we have this saved. And if we go out of that, click on cross, there we go. Now we're just showing the cross pieces again. And these have the same three buttons. So if I wanted to show everything except cross, I could hide the cross. And now you see those pieces are hidden. Um, so you can use these filters to start building up more complex things. 
So for example, let's start with cross. Uh, I wanted to show the red-green F2L pair, I think. So we want all the pieces that have pieces that have only, or let's say, we want red and green. Uh, so let's show that, but uh, not yellow and white. Let me let me actually solve the puzzle, um, and it'll be easier to, to think about this. So we want uh, yes, red and green, but yeah, we don't want these white or yellow pieces. So we're gonna hide yellow and hide white. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Uh, so we're here. We want to hide yellow and hide white. And you'll see that as you hover over this, it previews what's going to happen. And we also don't want this purple piece, so we're going to hide purple. So this is good. The um, problem is we lost some of those center pieces that we wanted. So we could click Show Cross to bring those back. And now this is a great filter for solving that first F2L pair. So I'll save this as F2L pair number one. There we go. And you could do this you know, as you go on for, for the other F2L pairs. Um, another thing you can do, there's a couple other things you can do here. If you click Edit as Plain Text, um, you'll see it's, it's this format. I would not recommend trying to type these numbers yourself, um, but Milo Jacquet has made a wonderful tool for making these filters for big cubes. I'll link it in the description. Um, you can also use this to share with other people or copy from the wiki if you want to use my three block filters, for example. And I'll put a link to where you can find those. Um, another thing you can do is, uh, as you are making a preset, uh, let's discard, um, you can save opacity. So you can actually change the opacity of hidden pieces here. So let's say I want a filter where um, pieces are, are a little more opaque. Um, I could save this as another preset, click Save Opacity, so this is A, and let's reset that and save another one, B. So now A and B, if I hit edit here, you'll see that they have hidden opacity saved. So as I click between them, it'll change the opacity. Um, I don't know if anyone's actually used that yet, but that is certainly an option. Uh, OK, so the last thing I want to cover, is, let's add uh, another keybind set here that's just purple uh, for demonstration. Uh, last cell. So the last thing I want to demonstrate is how to set up keybinds. For this. So if I go in here, let's say I want um, a keybind where I press it and it takes me straight to last cell. So I could hit plus. Um, let's make this, um, what's a key that's open? M. It's free. So I'm going to make M keybind set, or sorry, uh, M filter show exactly. Uh, you can also use show hide, hide all except, which is kind of like these ones. Um, usually you'll just want show exactly. And we want to show last cell. So now I may have other pieces visible. Um, you know, who knows what I'm doing? I hit M, and I'm just showing the last cell. Another thing you can do is add a pair of keybinds for next and previous filter. So if I go filter, show exactly previous, and filter, show exactly next, uh, now when I press comma and dot, you'll see it moves back and forth through this list. So. Um, and that shows up in the keybinds reference as these two arrows. So comma goes backward, and dot goes forward. So this is what I use during my speed solves. Um, I have these bound to a thumb button, because I have a, an ergonomic keyboard with thumb buttons, so that I can just press a key and it goes to my next filter. And I have you know 20 or so of them for, for three block. So there you go. That is how to set up piece filters in Hyperspeed Cube 1. This will hopefully be obsolete in Hyperspeed Cube 2 as we figure out a better system that works for more puzzles and is more intuitive and doesn't have these checkboxes. Um, but for now, this is what we have. And uh, yeah, happy solving. <laughs>